Hey folks and welcome back to another video from D1 DLC. Today we are going to be taking a little look at the Indie Games Room for 2018 at Avcon this year. So uh, we're going to run through some of the stuff that you're likely to see at the IGR. And uh, we're going to kick things off with Space Beards, uh, developed by Angry Cactus Angry Games. Angry Cactus Games. Looks mm. like a bit of a multiplayer. Yeah, four-player split-screen kind of style thing. And, yeah, um, PvP. It looks like it, yeah, on, a, on some sort of a... Um, uh, spaceship. spaceship. Not a, not, a spaceship. Not, 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 maybe maybe a spaceship. Yes. Um, so there's cannons and all that good stuff. So yeah, curious. Mm. Darkest Sour looks like a bit of a 2D side scrolling style. Mm. You know, a little gummy bear. Yep. Um, Jumping around yeah. and, and eating things. Yeah. Or something. By mm. Astro Squirrel. So I love 2D side scrolling platformers. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, I'm really keen to give this one a go. Mm. Me not. And next, Manatech by Blue Gem Games. Looks like it's a, a PvP, 1v1 yep. kind of style arena. Um, top down with uh, shooting things at each other. Yeah. Mm, might be interesting. Yeah, yeah definitely. Mm. Backyard Cricket by Bodacity. Uh, looks like a VR, VR. cricket game. Yeah. I really like the idea of it. Um, and I really want to play it so bad. Yeah. So bad. Yeah, the you only thing love is, cricket. It looks like they're, they're, there's like you're in the middle of a desert with like rocks and stuff around. It'd be yeah. cool if it was actually in a stadium, but uh, let's see how that plays. I reckon it'd be that good. That could be level two, you know. Indeed. Yeah. DLC. Cave of Atman DX by Chris Johnson. Mm -hmm. Chris Johnson, actually, we know, and he has done some good games. Absolutely. Moray and um, yeah. also... Uh, uh, Expand? I think so. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Worked on Expand. Uh, but this looks like a bit of a Bomberman type game, and mm. I love that stuff. So mm. definitely want to be checking that one out. And back for another year, Block Apocalypse by Dime Studios. Uh, really keen to see what progress they've made on this. Um, we yeah. have seen it a few times in the past. Um, awesome uh, PvP. Actually, it's PvP, or you got to help each other to get right. away from the lava. Indeed. Yeah. Lethal Lawns by Dime Studio. Now, this one uh, basically is like a hack and slash with lawnmowers where you uh, fight against other people with lawnmowers uh, to, I think, either A, cut the grass down or run over each other. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. X01. This is uh, a game that I've been following for a while. Same mm. as you, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep, well, and uh, last year, he didn't actually get to make it to the indie games room. I know he wanted yeah. to, but this year we will hopefully be able to play it there. Mm -hmm. Such a good game. You are basically a ball, a sphere, which can also turn into a flying object, a disc, mm -hmm. discus type thing. Mm. Uh, yeah, Tra traverse the planet and then move to the next planet. And the ambience, the music. Mm, beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. And of course, another one that's returning, Brief Battles by Juicy Cupcake. We're really looking forward to seeing some of that sort of stuff and lots of underpants. Oh man, so many. Leopard, fire, mm -hmm. toxic, mm -hmm. ice, bulletproof, and more to come. Everyone needs toxic underpants. Yep. A new one to IGR this year, Office Tossing, uh, Office by, tossing. by Claptastic Games. Uh, it looks like some sort of a game where you've got to compete by throwing office supplies across um, the office and hitting tossing. other people. We like to toss things in, in the, the office. office. Enough said. Rooftop Renegade by Melonhead Games. This one is actually really cool. We played this at the Global Game Jam. Yep. So you've got one person running across the line and you've got the other people trying to shoot them. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a lot of fun on this. Incredibly fast-paced and frantic and very addictive. Yeah, so we're going to see that again. And another new one to IGR this year, uh, Sorcerer by Ryan Tezak. Uh, looks like another VR, VR. Um, kind of sorcerer magic throwing thing which is uh, interesting I'm very Casting spells. very keen to see anything in VR yeah, these days VR's good mm. Horde by Scott Malone this actually looks really cool top down what would you say the genre of this one mm, it's definitely not a strategy game, yeah, but no, it's uh, no. definitely a top down kind of zombies versus humans mm. I mean you can't get better than that uh, Dungeon Chop Chop by Slack Dragon uh, looks interesting. Top down um, slasher, hacker. Yeah, hack and slash. Hack and slash game. Yeah. Um, kind of looks cool. Bit Mighty Quest ish. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you see it? Goat Punks by Studio Canvas. Now, this is one we have actually played historically last mm. Avcon, I reckon. Yep. yep. Yeah. Uh, great game. You are goat, a goat, versing other goats trying to get to the top of the mountain and hold that spot mm -hmm. also while setting off missiles and all yep. sorts of other things awesome pvp space tug by tundra storm needs a mention because it's called space tug all right so there we have a real quick look at some of the things that stood out to us at the moment for the igr this year there is heaps more games heaps. 50 games 30 developers so um, absolutely get along check it out let us know if there's something that you're interested in seeing at the igr in the comments below 
um, and we will see you all at Avcon from the 20th to the 22nd of July. If you see us there, come say hello. Indeed. <laughs>